Well, since the start of the pandemic, we've driven the FJ a lot less than we're used to. So the last time this FJ was driven was four days ago. And it turns out that my kids were playing in the back seat and had left the dome light in the on position. So this dome light was on and the one in the middle was also on. So needless to say, four days later, I tried to start the car and it would not start. So the battery's completely drained. But I just wanted to show you guys something that I keep in my car just in case of uh, emergency in, in instances like this. I have something called the, the anti-gravity micro start. And what it is, is it's a portable battery. And this is what it looks like. So I have the anti-gravity micro start PPS for personal power supply. It comes with some jumper cables. So I don't have to have a second car to jump the battery. I can jump it with this battery pack. It also comes with a bunch of different accessories, different types of connections for other uh, devices. So this is something that's convenient and uh, something that I would highly recommend everybody have in their car. Um, there are different types of battery starters, but this is just one of them. Um, this one happened to cost, I believe it was $99 a couple years ago, but I've had to use this once or twice, but it's better to have it than to not have it in situations like this. So. We're gonna move the FJ out of the garage and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a charge with the PPS and we'll see if we can start this FJ. So for those of you wondering how to get the car in gear into neutral without the battery, there was a gray tab that was sitting right here. Um, what I did was I popped off this gray tab. There's a button here, a black button that you can push down. I'm gonna press the button here. Got my foot on the brake first of all, press the button down. Now I can shift into neutral. I just want to show you guys that it is in fact still dead. So I've got the key in the ignition. And I can hear. I'm cranking it. Nothing's happening. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the micro start battery. All right, so the instructions say to make sure that you have four bars on this battery. Uh, I currently have five. I'm gonna connect these to the terminals on the battery and then connect it to the portable battery pack and then start the car and remove it within 30 seconds. So here we go. All right, so it looks like everything uh, needs to be reset. I need to reset the compass, need to reset the radio. Um, these lights were indeed on, so I just turned them off. But uh, it took two tries. Um, what I ended up having to do was I gave it a little bit of gas upon the second crank and that got it going. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive this around a little bit trying to make sure the alternator starts running a little bit just to kind of get the battery juices going again. Um, one of the cool things I do like about this head unit is that it has a uh, voltmeter. Definitely see some activity there. Um, one thing of note is the FJ actually does have a its own voltmeter. So that's usually right around where I see it. But um, you know, seeing that I'm actually seeing some activity here is a good sign. 
And uh, like I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and drive it around a little bit, get that alternator going, and maybe see if we can uh, get some juice back into this battery. So I can already see the battery level is going up a little bit. There were a couple times when I was at a red light and the car started to shudder a little bit, so I <laughs> was getting a little scared that the car might stall, but uh, it looks like we're going. The battery level is back up. It's getting higher. And uh, I'm just gonna try to continue on driving without stopping for a while. Let's see if we can get this battery level up a little higher before I head back home. All right guys, since my battery was just restarted, uh, it looks like I have to reset my compass and inclinometer. So I'm back in the same parking lot that I was when I did my chalk test. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drive my car in a circle according to the instructions in the manual. So here we are on page 359, calibrating the compass. Um, I live in Southern California, so I'm in zone five. So based on these instructions uh, to stop the vehicle where it's safe to drive in a circle, press the set button until number 1 through 15 appears, and I'm going to set it at 5. Drive the vehicle in a circle, completing at least one full circle within 20 to 120 seconds. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to drive in a circle. And now it's set. And it looks like I'm good to go. So one other cool thing about this head unit is that, as I mentioned in my um, video about this head unit, I downloaded the Agama car launcher. So this is the car launcher interface. And what's cool about this car launcher is that you can change the uh, center function here. Um, you can set it to, to be a clock. Um, you know, it can be the speedometer here. It can also be the Toyota logo or whatever logo you want it to be. And it also has a built-in compass so right now I'm going to set it to compass and I'm going to make sure that everything lines up correctly with my uh, FJ Cruiser compass. So I'm going to go ahead and drive, drive it around, make a couple of turns and see if everything lines up here. So we should be heading south according to the FJ compass. And looks like the stereo compass is lining up just the same, which is a good sign. I'm going to make a right turn. And now we're heading west. Both compasses show that we are heading west. Making a right turn. Should be showing north. And we are heading north here according to the FJ compass. And we're heading north here according to the head unit compass. So, so far everything's looking good. I'm gonna make another right, which should indicate that we're gonna be heading east. Everything's looking good. I'm going to make another right soon and should be indicating that we are heading south. Indeed, it is showing south on both compasses. So everything's looking pretty good. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more things I want to share with you guys. So uh, 
yeah thanks for watching and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video